today on Divorce Court. I need the judge to talk to Chris about why he treats me like a child. Lisa's temper gets out of control. Once she has something in her mind, that is it. In the beginning, Chris was always with me. He was adventurous. Now he wants to just be with the boys. It's like, I'm not the first or second, I'm the fifth priority. Judge, how can I get him to wake up and understand and start appreciating me and treating me like the woman that he claims that he loves? Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Christopher Land and Lisa Marie Berge. The two of you have been together for eight years. You have no children together, but you do not want to be together anymore. Ms. Berge, I'm gonna tell you what alarmed me. <laughs> is that when we were bringing you out here, we were concerned about the makeup issues because you got in a brawl last week and got your eye busted and you got staples in your head or something. Why don't you tell me with whom you were brawling and why? Well. I go to this local bar. Chris hangs out there, too. And I got into an argument with the girl that I've been kind of jealous, like Chris likes to say. But I'm not jealous. She knows that I exist right. after I had to show her I existed. <laughs> Did you get charged? No. She swung the first punch. I didn't want it to go down like that. Mm. But How many did. fights have you been in? Look at that. Not a cup. I mean, since, since 15, not really a lot, so it's my first one back in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of did she look when good. it was over. <laughs> Should have seen her. She looked pretty worse. You, Busted up lip. So you won the fight. We're Philly girls. We don't play around. You're Philly girls. You don't play <laughs> around. We don't play around, especially with this one. I'm not gonna let him go. Her anger is off the Richter scale. She um, let me give you an example. I go to pick her up from work one day. Okay, uh, pick her up, running late, gets in the car. Car don't start, battery's dead. So uh, go and borrow her uh, father's truck, come back, jump it. We're arguing, it took so long, she was, uh, got off work late, the car wouldn't start. It's what, my dad's what, birthday. Hang on, Ms. Berge. Went wrong, could go wrong. So the whole time we're arguing back and forth. Finally the car starts, she jumped in. You blame in, me, Ms. Berge. She jumped in her father's truck, I guess to get out of there, throws it and drive and slams right into the side of my vehicle. <laughs> absolutely destroyed the whole side door fender and whatnot. I'm freaking out, stop, get out of the vehicle. She backs up and boom, again, right back into it. So finally, I'm yelling, people are looking. I'm like, Lise, get out of the vehicle. You cannot drive. Uh, stop, please. After a couple minutes, she finally lets me in. I'm worried that she's gonna get in trouble mm -hmm. and she doesn't have a license. Uh, she couldn't calm down to you know, to be rational so that we can uh, fix that issue. Ms. Berge, I'm gonna go to you because women always have a story to tell. <laughs> why won't you, why don't you tell me why you think this relationship is ending after eight years? Because he constantly treats me like a child. He always wants to hang out with his friends. He never wants to spend time with me and he's cheap. I want to go out and have fun. <laughs> Give he, me an example of when he treats you like a child. He gives me a $20 allowance. A week, a week, what can I buy with $20? <laughs> Mr. Land, oh, I've been known to be tight with a dollar myself. <laughs> Hold on to a one so long, George Washington starts to scream. <laughs> $20 a week? Well, that's just for extra stuff. She has everything she needs. That's not true. Yes, it is. What do you mean everything she, do you have, does she have a credit card she can use? Uh, no, no, we use my card. In a relationship, in our relationship at least, I'm more responsible with money. Um, she, when she gets money, she blows through it like it's on fire. It, like twenty dollars a week? No, she, she, she receives more money for. Uh, she receives a lot more than that. That's untrue, Lise. That's uh, not true. You have your transportation, uh, take care of uh, uh, food, cigarettes, anything that she needs. That's just. But like, you go buy it. You don't give it a no, cash. No, it's uh, it's all for her. She, I just budget our money. That's mm -hmm. untrue. About twenty dollars a week. It's $20 a week out of well, my What paycheck. kind of things has she done that make you so concerned about her ability to handle money? <laughs> well, let's start off with, um, uh, she, she went and uh, took my credit card, went online and she plays these video games, okay? Uh, she bought uh, an avatar for PlayStation and she goes and dresses them up and buys different clothing. She spent well Maybe over $350 out. on a video game to dress up and, and, and stuff Ms. like M that. Ms. Bergen, 
tell me about the avatar. How old are you again? <laughs> I'm 30, but... You 30, and you dressing up an avatar. Maybe if I went out, maybe if he took me out, I wouldn't be sitting at home while he's out with the boys doing his thing, and I'm playing dress up at home. We don't have no kids. The house is clean. Back in the day, we that. called that Barbie dolls. <laughs> yes, exactly. But I stopped exactly. when I was 12. All kinds of different outfits. Ms. Berg, you, what are your concerns about Mr. Land, other than the fact that he is cheap? He's a real hothead. It... He embarrasses me constantly in front of my friends and family. He's called me fat in front of his mother and my mother and my friends. Pudgy Rodriguez, I'd like to say. Uh -huh. or Pudgy Chubster. Rodriguez? Yeah, Chubster. <laughs> Pudgy Rodriguez? Yeah, it's a joking nickname. It's I really not her, funny. But... It's hurtful. Have you taken a look around the community at all and then look back at her and you still feel, feel the need to call her Pudgy Rodriguez? I don't, I don't, I don't feel that way. It's just joking with her. Uh, let, me, I... let, let me help you out, Mr. Lane. You're losing this woman. You won't keep another one if you call her fat. Mm. We don't like it. It makes us crazy. Even if we are, don't tell us. <laughs> Lie. You with <laughs> me? Is. Yep. You just lost 80 to 90 percent of what you had. You get your hands on $50 and you think dinner is the appropriate place to spend it? <laughs> Ms. Bergie. You say he doesn't want to go anywhere, he doesn't want to do anything, and that you have to take extreme measures to have any fun in your life. Tell me about that. Last summer, I took up a, a second job, so to say, just to get some extra side money. It's 50 bucks a day, cash, hand out flyers to cars. Mm -hmm. I call him up excited, I'm like, look, I got $50, I'm taking you out to dinner. Just meet me there. He's fussing and fighting with me. That you don't want, there you go again. You get money and you're blowing it. No, I wanna take, I wanna take you out. You never take me out, so let's go, let's do this. Meet me here, like I'm setting it up. What's the issue? Like I wanna spend time with him. He never wants to spend time with me. Mr. Land, she got a new, she got a job. That's $50 you weren't expecting. She wants a little, of a, little attention. What was the problem? Well, at that point in our relationship, we were just getting over a house fire. Um, yeah, she picked up an extra job, but she needs to understand that we need to save every dollar we can get at that well, point. Well, tell me life. about the house fire. What happened? Okay, um, uh, we, we were living in an apartment at the time. Uh, my neighbor lived above us. What he had said, I wasn't home at the time, she was, I was at work. My neighbor tells me he had uh, put a cigarette out in his ashtray, went to the bathroom, and a sheet was hanging off the side of the bed and it had caught on fire. By the time he came back from the bathroom, the whole room was on fire. How long was he in the bathroom? I think that was a lie, but regardless of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, let the she, man have she, his personal business. Yeah, she, she calls me, uh, says the house is on fire. I rush home. Uh, the house is totally engulfed. Um, I'm sitting there with her, uh, upset, of course. Did you lose watching. everything? Not everything, but 80, 90% of everything. Did you have owned. renter's insurance? No, no, no you, insurance. You were just out. Now, yeah. now Ms. Berge, I was with you for a moment there, but you just lost 80 to 90% of what you had. You get your hands on $50 and you think dinner is the appropriate place to spend it? That's true. I mean, it's not, it's not the appropriate place, it's the place to spend it, but we're so stressed out. We're arguing when we're fighting over losing all this money. We're fighting over where we're gonna live. My parents. So you're parents. fighting about losing money, so you get some money and you <laughs> right, want to blow right. the money. Now, how much sense does that make? You know who you're with. But he's always he's so tight. stressed out. He's always so angry. I just sometimes just want him to relax and chill, calm down. Like, we'll figure it out. Like, to me, money's not everything. Like, it I'm, is if you have none. True, true. You know what I mean? And we had, and we we had a little nest egg, and right. unfortunately, the fire burned through it. It burned through everything, and I wanted to rebuild her nest egg. I eventually want to own my own home. Absolutely. And uh, Absolutely. I don't feel she's on the same page as me. Now, now, now Mr. That. Land, I'm with you on the money thing, because, again, you know, we're both tight, so I'm right there with you. <laughs> my question is this. Are you wound a little tight? A little bit. I am set in my ways. Uh, Lisa knows who I Very am. Tight. She She loves me, and... Uh, I don't like that. Um, I don't love that. That's not good quality. Uh, might be one part she doesn't like about me, that I, I, I'm a little tight with money, but... Um, uh, I'm, I, I'm not I'm talking any... about the money. I'm talking about... I'm more of an easy Your going. sensibilities, your attitude. Control. I'm more easy going. People He's that easy know going me, with his friends. He ain't I, easy going with me. I, I try to avoid conflict. Okay. And um, 
When we have an issue, she explodes. There's no resolution. I, I want to know what the problem is, and get to the problem, problem answer and it, it, and fix it. I and got you. I got you. Let me help you out with that. That's something <laughs> you can fix. She lies a lie sometimes, like what time she has to be at work or when she when she's supposed to be home. And in the back of my head, I don't think she's cheating on me, but it makes me wonder and worry. Why is she doing it? There's got to be a reason. What is it? We're going to talk about the nature of your conflict, Ms. Berge. He says he tries to get to the issue and get it resolved, and you're doing something entirely different. How do you see your conflict? I feel like we start an argument. We're going back to he throws things in my face that's from when we first started going out. Not true. We argue about things that never get resolved because we're always fighting about the other fight, the other fight, the other fight. Jeez. And this fight is getting bigger. It's getting blown up. It's huge. We can't figure out how to communicate with each other. We're too busy arguing. I'm not listening. He ain't listening. Ever. But yeah, the problem that you have here is you have a topic. And the topic has nothing to do with the argument. The exactly. argument is about the, the anger you feel, exactly. the disconnection you feel, the stress that you feel. So the washing machine gets to be the topic, right. but that is not the, the object exactly. of your anger. Exactly. That, that, that's what you need to do. Now, you got a book over there, Ms. Bernie. I'm going to have Joe bring it to me. What is the book about? This is proof that we were happy at one time. He made me this book on our first year anniversary. It's you all the did things. This? <laughs> yes. Now, Mr. Land, you're going to make me like you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Lisa. She's a great woman. Uh, I just want to resolve some of these issues. One day, I want to get married to her. And, uh... If I could give you one thing today that I could change about her to keep you engaged in this relationship, what one specific thing could we work on? It would be the trust and, and um, communication, the trust, I would say. Um, trust? We, what is your trust issue? Okay. Does she not trust you or you don't trust her? I don't trust no, I, I, it's nothing about cheating or nothing like that. It's, it's stupid stuff. She lies a lie sometimes, like what time she has to be at work or when, she, when she's supposed to be home. Um, other issues, uh, who she's hanging out with, what she's doing. Uh, and in the back of my head, I don't think she's cheating on me, but it makes me wonder and worry. Why is she doing it? And then sometimes I absolutely have to have 100% proof in order for her to say, okay, I, I was lying. Did that. Yeah. She will never give in. She will take that lie to the end until it's and in black right and white. Right until the wheels fall off. Yes. Like, uh, Ms. Berge, do you, do you tell him... I do. Truths. I do. I do. There's got to be a reason. There, what is it? He's always yelling. He's always arguing with me. Like, he doesn't understand sometimes that when I'm at work, if it's slow, they'll send me home early. So he's like, oh, I thought you were supposed to get off at 5. Well, they sent me home. I got off at 4. You're it's lying. It's not every day. I'm not lying. It's not every day. It's, it's once in a while. Sometimes the work is slow. And I lie to him about when I'm going to work because somebody doesn't let me sleep ever. He Ooh. always wants to turn the light on and do everything at the last minute. Like... Just come in here. He wanted to wait until 2 o'clock in the morning to pack for our trip to come here. <laughs> Did you do that, Mr. Land? <laughs> but I no, need to that's sleep. when I ended everything. But That's when you ended I end everything. I ended packing everything. I didn't start until 2 in the morning. But yes, I do procrastinate uh, from time to time. Why do you think she lies to you? I don't know. She's used to it. I don't know. That, that's what I would like to figure out. Um, yeah, the trust is definitely something that if I, I went back. Okay, and, and, and I get that. I'm going to help you with that. Ms. Berge, if I could do one thing to fix him, change him, enlighten him, to keep you engaged in this relationship, what would that be? We have to start talking. We have to start communicating with each other. Maybe, like, we have to figure out how to go back mm -hmm. to where we were. I mean, it's impossible. He says the butterflies are dead. I don't appreciate that. That hurts my feelings. I feel like in a relationship... Goes up and down. That's the butterflies lovely. come, they, they go. go. I'm in love with him from like the day that I met him. It still feels like the day that I met him. Got it. Let me tell you what you guys are dealing with here. In any relationship, two people have to decide who they're dealing with.
And once you decide who you're dealing with, you have to act in a way that allows you to deal with that person in a manner that gets you what you need from that person. You can't change that person. You can elicit what you need from that person. And you have to figure out how to do that. Now, Ms. Berge, I saw in your papers, and I know this made you crazy, you put some sleeping pills in a drink of his uh, so you could go out and he wouldn't give you any trouble. Right. You're fighting at the bar, you're taking the car, you're bumping into this, back this, that, that. You need to control your anger. And people who are that angry communicate frustration and no information. Right. And you communicate your frustration and your feelings to him, but you never tell him what you want. When you talk to a man, you have to make an ask. You have to decide before you even get in the room with the dude. What is it I want him to change and why? And then you go in there and you say, I need you. Don't start out with you. Because if you start out with you this, you that, you the other thing, my man gets angry here. He's up. He's ready to fight. They're going to go. But you come in there, you say, I need. Could you? And then you make an ask. You don't get all wound up and worked up and crazy about it. Because you know... My man, you wound a little tight over there. <laughs> you got some issues that you're dealing with, not quite sure how deep they are. But, Mr. Land, you have to be able to be calm. And you have to be able not to be in control of everything in order to feel safe. Mm-hmm. You don't feel safe unless you're in control. Yep. And he's not going to feel like he's in control or in a safe zone if you continue to lie to him. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I don't want to lie to him, but I don't want to be treated like a child. I'm 30. Yeah, I do everything lie. that I need like... to do. He doesn't need to control me where I go or who I'm with. Okay. I'm not doing anything behind his back. I, I, he doesn't like my friends. Let me ask you this. What do you think? Do you think she's going to go? No, I don't. I, 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 then what, I don't then know. What's the problem? That's for the granite. Uh, the, the problem is the trust. Uh, she, she says I treat her like a child. I haven't che- treated her like a child our whole relationship. It's the actions that she shows me and does that in turn makes me treat her that way. I don't want that. I want her to be the woman that I know she is but and can be. She settles for less a little bit too much, and I want her to understand. Treat me like Mr. Mr. Land, let me tell you something. You pick the woman that you pick. You can't expect her to be someone else once you get yeah. So you have to decide you like who she is and how she is and her openness and her freeness and all of that. You need to be better with money, but you need to m- realize that you picked the person you picked and you can't fix her. And I'm saying, sitting over here watching you tell her what to say. I saw you this entire session. You're not saying this right. You're not saying that right. And she hasn't done anything outrageous in here. She simply didn't say things that you approved of. No, that, that's not what I was saying to her well, at you, all. You, that, yeah, that oh, was... you had a lot of commentary. Yeah. I hear it all. I'm a mother. <laughs> Six kids. You can't get nothing past me. You with me? I'm with you. Work on what I said to work on. If you can't do it, you know, let her go. Mm-hmm. If you can't be happy with who she is, let her walk away. You'll both survive. Yep. You with me? Right. This matter is adjourned. Thank you.